Well, family members are gathering inside the home behind me. As you mentioned, you would describe this as quiet and secluded. And until what happened here yesterday, you would also describe it as safe, but not anymore. Neighbors and relatives asking the question, why? Everybody is shocked. Everybody is shocked. Nobody has real information to know what has happened. A disaster, a nightmare, said a shaken Sam Shakib as he came to his uncle's Encino home. Youssef Mabubian, 102 years old, seen here with his wife, allegedly murdered with a hatchet and a knife inside their home. The wife came in and then the grandchildren came in, came in to try to resuscitate him and there was blood and they called 911 and then they figured out he was hit in the head by an axe. A suspect was apparently found hiding in this neighbor's minivan. He's 47-year-old Adam Dimmerman, last known address Santa Barbara, arrested and booked for murder. Neighbors believe he's linked to another non-fatal stabbing that took place nearby about the same time. Howard Switzky says he saw the suspect walking a dog earlier in the morning. So I figured that's what it probably was at first, that it was a, a robbery gone bad, but evidently not. And it to, to live all that to live 102 years and then end that way it's a it's a real tragedy. Police who are back today have not discussed any possible motive or connection between the suspect and victims. Mobubian, who according to family was active in good health, often walked the hills, tended to his backyard garden every day, loved spending time with his extended family. There's no way to make sense of this. Elliot Cohen, head of the Encino Homeowners Association, like so many here, shaken. How does a 102-year-old man who's lived in this neighborhood for decades suddenly, you know, attract a murderer into his space? It's inconceivable, and this is a beautiful residential area that's very isolated. Back live, Alex and Christine, you can see that view of the San Fernando Valley looking north over Encino. Again, this is in the foothills south of Ventura Boulevard. Is there a potential connection between the suspect and the victims? Was this perhaps a crime of opportunity? Was it a transient, a homeless person? Those are all theories that neighbors are talking about, but police have refused to say anything. Live in Encino, I'm Phil Schumann. Alex, Christine.